for your consideration. Fairy tales. A door to another place, to another time, once upon. Fairy tales are a place of magic. However, they can be dark and they can be scary. Fairy tales can take you to a beautiful place that can also be horrifying. And no film defines a fairy tale as a dark and beautiful place more than Guillermo del Toro's Pan's Labyrinth. Once upon a Spanish war in the summer of 1944, young Ophelia, hair black as ebony, lips red as the rose, skin white as the snow, is forced to uh, go, go with her pregnant mother to live with her evil soldier hus husband. Unhappy, she goes exploring. They, when she discovers a labyrinth where she meets a mythical fawn who um, um, tells her that she is a princess and the only way to meet her real family is by completing three tasks each terrifying than the last, to show she has the princess's essence. This is a phenomenal film, my friends. What I love about this film it, most is the use of makeup, animatronics, and CGI to make the mythical fairy tale creatures come to life. My favorite creature, however, in this film is uh, a creature known as the Pale Man. He is a child eater, and he is an indeed interesting creature. I will be showing you a picture of him now. Fair warning. He's a little terrifying. What do you think? Creepy, I know. What I also love about this film is the fairy tale, the influences that fairy tales had on this. I love the three tasks. I love the, I love the creatures. I love um, tales of temptation and and evil versus good. I just really love this whole story, and I love this world that Guillermo del Toro uh, bring, brings us into. And it's just a fantastic film, my friends. And um, um, indeed, one of my favorites. In conclusion, Pan's Labyrinth is whimsical, a little horrifying, but beautiful in all the right ways. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas, my friends, and thank you for watching my first video back from college. Bye.